The Ridge Hospital in Accra is presently undergoing a massive transformation. Though the facility has a surgical theater, it has been grappling with neurosurgical cases in the past two years. In the first of a two-part story, Eva Atiboka highlights challenges associated with the new surgical unit of the hospital. The Ridge Hospital in Accra, the imposing architectural design telling its own story to the first timer. The facility is in transition from a regional to a teaching hospital. I meander my way through the meds of twisted metals, wooden planks and mailing artisans eager to meet timelines all the way through to the neurosurgical theater. The door was shut, but it was eventually opened and inside it, surgical equipment lie idle. The hospital has a resident high-ranking specialist who will not carry out surgeries, sites and poor equipment. We don't do operations now because of the prevailing conditions. The equipment uh, started to break down. When I came, uh, there was no microscope. We neurosurgeons use microscope to operate because we want to see every detail to deal with it. Hospital officials, however, counted his claim. The okay, was fancy before. So maybe it's just one or two things which is now in place, then mm -hmm. we can put that one. This is Batrai's by Dr. Samuel Kaba, a then neurosurgeon at the facility who carried out the last surgery in 2014. If I were to be there, I would have continued to use. So the equipment was in good shape to do surgeries. With what we have there, we can do all the surgeries that can save a human life. Dr. Samuel Kaba is presently the Director of Institutional Care Division of the Ghana Health Service. He said revealed that since 2007 he has not touched a human being. So if my son is sick, he will not be the one to operate on him. Because he's not operating. He's not operated for the past nine years. He's not going to use him for a trial. And because he will not be, I will not, as a director, agree that he operates on my son. I will not agree that he operates on somebody else's son. The outpatients department records over a thousand neurosurgical cases annually. However, the hospital provides only clinical services, turning away patients requiring surgery. This is the brand new CM X-ray machine, among others, provided during a national equipment replacement exercise two years ago. This is, however, inadequate, according to Dr. Vwadu. He cites the absence of a surgical bed and a telescope, which he describes as key to surgeries, to make good his case. But a technician recalled sending the base of the bed for repairs barely a month ago. In the second and final part, I will be establishing the mode of appointing Cuban-trained doctors into the system.